okay, now, now that I have the copper dripping down around the rivet, I'm going to pound the rivet flat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left hand to, to hold the copper flat uh, to the base of the rivet, and then with my right hand, I'm going to go ahead and hammer that rivet flat. All right, now that I have my rivet driven in the top of the boiler, I'm just going to make my way right on down the line and pound in the rest of the rivets. All right, I have all the rivets pounded in. You'll notice that at this point, it's nowhere near round. Um, that's fine. It doesn't need to be round at this point. In fact, I'm just going to leave it just how it is until I put the bottom in. Um, it's going to be easier to solder. You're going to get a better joint if you leave it like this while we solder, which is the next step. Okay, we're going to solder this boiler together. Before I do any soldering, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my flux here and from the outside, I'm just going to kind of pull, pull that uh, joint apart and stick some flux down in there. You could do this before you even start riveting together, um, you could, it, which might be a little bit better. Um, you could also do it this way. We're getting ready to solder here. Again, um, at, the, at a bare minimum, put some gloves on. You don't want to burn yourself. Uh, safety glasses aren't a bad idea either, and uh, either is this mask. I, I generally would always be wearing a mask when I'm soldering. Uh, I'm probably not going to during the video just so you can hear me while I'm talking. After you have everything uh, coated with flux, get your torch out, heat the copper up, and start soldering.
Okay, after you have the seam of the boiler soldered up, we're going to go ahead and put, we're going to, first we're going to straighten this out a little bit and then we're going to drop the bottom in. So again, it's, it's nowhere near round at this point. Uh, to, to, what we will want to do is get it as best we can before we drop the bottom in. Once we drop the bottom in, that's going to, that's going to make it nice and round. But basically just bend it by hand until you get it about round. Alright, we're ready to drop the bottom in. Uh, before I do that though, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flux and I'm going to coat the inside of these tabs with some flux. I'll try to do it back here. And then I'm also going to put some flux on the... Um, I'm also going to put some flux on the bottom here, just on the very edges. And once I have the bottom edge coated with flux, I'm going to drop it flux side down into the boiler and basically drop the side with the rivets on it, drop it in first and then let, let it lay flat. All right, what I'm going to do before I start soldering is I'm just going to cut that inside joint here with flux, just a little bit more flux. And then I'm going to let's just take something heavy. I'm just going to use my hammer here and I'm going to stick it down in there to keep that copper down sitting on those tabs. And I've got my, my, my wire, or my uh, I have this solder rolled out so um, I can keep my hand up here at the top and it's basically touching the bottom of the boiler here. You kind of have to do that because you're going to be using your left hand to heat the bottom of the boiler with from the outside and then your right hand to push the flux down into the joint. What's going to happen when you solder, um, when you start to heat this up is that flux is going to smoke and you're not going to be able to really see what you're doing. So you kind of have to just um, you know, feel feel the feel the sucks the the flux pushing into the joint there. All right, we're gonna get the solder in here.